What's good everybody? Uh, bringing you another video today. Uh, today we're playing some Spider-Man. Um, thought I'd do some recording for this for you guys. Uh, kind of show you a little bit about the game. Uh, explain what I think of the game. Maybe show you some of the suits that are available in the game. Spider-Man suits. And then uh, maybe show you some combat. You know, show you the city. How the swinging looks and feels. This is running on PS5 by the way. So um, kind of go over you know how it plays on ps5 because i obviously have not played it on ps4 since i don't have a ps4 anymore um so i don't know if any of you guys have it on ps4 but if you're looking to get it on ps5 um i can kind of tell you my experience so far so uh, i'm gonna start the game up first thing you'll notice load times on ps5 are like phenomenal in a good way obviously so i just started the game and i'm already in um i was probably like what five seconds um, so that's pretty cool, uh, but you'll really see kind of the load times shine, or well, you'll see the PS5 shine more like um, if you kind of tri uh, fast travel. So check this out, right? I am here. That's me, the little arrow. I could fast travel all the way to the other side of the the city. Um, that's not available, I don't think, because I'm near some baddies. All right, let me get out of here real quick so this is gonna, i'm just gonna show you guys the swinging now because obviously i'm leaving uh yeah abandon that mission whoa okay whatever so now that i've abandoned the mission um let us fast travel let us proceed with said fast travel um let's pick a spot just to show you that it's not i could choose like a any you know fast travel spot near me but I don't want you guys to think that it's, you know, fast because I fast traveled close by. I'm choosing to fast travel all the way across the map to show you the actual power behind the PS5. It's insane. Okay, so all the way across the map, run it. Watch this. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, it's insane. Everything's loaded up. You got the cars, the citizens, the snow, the the suit, miles, everything is loaded up within seconds. Like, that has never before been seen on console, so that's why I'm so excited, so excited to see what the future holds for these consoles. Because remember, these games that we're playing right now aren't completely optimized yet for next-gen consoles, like Miles Morales. Runs great on PS5, but they also had to kind of dumb it down a little bit so that they could make the PS4 version, right? So we actually uh, are not seeing, you know, real next-gen performance until you play a game that's only on PS5, and it's specifically for PS5. Games like Demon's Souls Remastered, uh, that's only on PS5. That'll show you what a PS5 can do. Uh, what's that other game that flopped? Uh, Godfall, that's only on PS5. That'll show you what a PS5 can truly do, but this is a great start. I mean, we're loading in seconds, and this, it's insane. I don't know, I don't want to talk too much about that, but um, obviously from what I just said, you can tell that I love how this game runs on PS5. I'm sure it runs great on PS4, but if you're done with the 30 frames per second life, try hard to get a PS5. I know it's not easy. I know. Everyone's struggling, everyone's frustrated right now trying to get a PS5. I have a video up on my YouTube if you want to check it out. I kind of explain how I got a Series X and how I got a PS5 and my journey, so to speak. So if you guys want to check that out, you can kind of take a look. You know, shoot me any questions in the comments. Um, you know, I have both consoles, um, and, uh, so yeah, um, I have a Series S on the way as well. S as in Sam, not another X. Uh, I have a Series S on the way as well, uh, managed to snag that from, uh, Ant Online. Um, if you guys are trying to get a PS5, uh, go to Twitter and start following people who are, who make it their job to notify people on Twitter that, you know, various sites are online and they're starting to sell the ps5s like follow some of these people um if you want to know some of the ones i followed um i'll post those in this description for you guys so you can go check out their twitters uh follow them they'll literally as soon as the store goes online they'll post it out um set up notifications so your phone will ring and that'll tell you to go on the website and you know 
it's not guaranteed, obviously. You have to go to the website, add to cart, check out. Everybody's trying to do it. Websites are crashing. You're, they're running out of stock very quickly, but you're going to have a stronger chance than compared to someone who's not following these Twitter, Twitter accounts because people who aren't on social media have no idea when these stores are going online. There's, They don't have any information about rumors. They don't have any information about dates. Um, you know, and it's a community on Twitter where people are just helping each other, figuring out when stores are going to go live, um, things like that. So I don't want to spend too much time talking about that. If he has questions, anything about that, post it in the comments. Um, I'll try to answer your questions, but uh, start looking around, guys. There's a lot of resources for you, so you don't have to do this on your own. You don't have to sit there and research everything on your own. People are researching for you. You can take that and use it to your advantage, okay? So, again, watch my video on uh, on my channel. I kind of explained a little bit about my journey, so we'll, we'll just leave it at that. Unless you guys have more questions, post it in the comments. Um, so yeah, so after that long spiel, we kind of went, what is that? Uh, whatever. So we kind of went over that. I'll, I'll go over some of the suits with you guys now. Now, keep in mind, I don't have all the suits unlocked. Bottom two rows, I got nothing. They won't even show me what the suits look like, so we're not going to go over those. But uh, this one you start off the game with... This one you get about an hour, nah, probably about 30, 45 minutes into the game. Uh, homemade suit, actually very cool. I love the boots. Look at the boots, really. But it looks good. You know, the outfit's good. Uh, I already have this one. This one, I don't know what, what this is, but it's, I don't know. It looks cool, but to me, that's not Spider-Man. This one I love. I love red. So that one, I love that one. You got Brooklyn Visions, the animated suit, uh, the end suit, which that's cool. Twenty ninety nine suit, into the Spider Verse suit, and the classic suit, which I also like. This one's kind of like reminds me of Black Suit Spider Man, except they added some red. Uh, so those are all the suits. Again, I can't see these. Like even if I let hover over it, it's just a black figure. It won't let me see it, so I can't show you those. These I'm not going to go over because I want to leave something for you guys to experience when you buy the game for yourself, so I'm not going over that. Gadgets, I won't go over all of them, but I will go over the one I'm using heavily, which is the this one, the Hollow Drones. Basically what happens is you create these little drones, you shoot that spider gadget onto the ground, a drone comes out, um, and they basically help fight by your side, which is really cool. It helps you out a little bit. Um, I upgraded it as well, so the drones stay alive longer, do more damage, all that good stuff. Um, this isn't cheesy, cheesing the game or anything, by the way. These drones are not overpowered. They're not going to go around just wiping out all your enemies for you. Um, they do die, even upgraded, they do die pretty quickly, um, but they will manage to take out some enemies and make your job a little bit easier. Uh, skills, uh, I don't really want to spoil a lot of this stuff for you guys, but I can tell you I'm focusing a little bit on the camouflage side of skills, so invisibility, venom side of skills. Um, for those of you who don't really know, Miles has electrical properties, so I guess he has like, not only is he has spider you know, powers, but he has like electric, electric powers. So this is that tree to upgrade his electric side of things. And then obviously combat skills and whatnot, so... All that cool stuff. Oh, look at that. Where's my, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Miles, my boy, Miles. All right, so I wanna show you kind of some combat action, if I can. We'll go here to this. I think I was already there. Yeah, we'll go here. I'll fast travel here. So I'll show you kind of how I like to com uh, play combat in this game. Again, you guys might play differently. That's perfectly fine. Play however you want. You're a game. You're Spider-Man. So play however you want. But I tend to be the type of person who likes to pick people off from a distance. And then kind of go uh, fist fighting. Uh, whoa. Okay. Uh, uh, fist fighting as I start trimming down the enemies a little bit. So... I'm gonna show you what Hi. I like to do. What's that sound? Oh, really? I'm planning a podcast series oh. Underground, and you're a tech okay, guy. hold on. I want to make sure I know where the enemies are so I don't get spotted, otherwise, y'all will roast me. I'm a big fan. 
Alright, so here's how I like to play. You have invisibility, right? You press up, you go invisible. Um, you can press square to, you know, stealth take down these guys from up close, but one of the things you can do is do the triangle to wipe strike takedown, just like in the other game, in the other Spider-Man game, but this time you want to go invisible and then do it so that you can, you can actually, you know, go in, knock someone out, and then disappear. So, there's a group of three right there, and they're training, but, like, let's say this guy was surrounded by other enemies. If I go invisible, strike, take him down, and then turn around and sit back, easy in and out. Is it invisible? Take him out. And here. Now keep in mind your invisibility meter goes down faster when you do attacks. If you're just staying invisible walking around, it'll last longer than if you do an attack. It's kind of, I guess they kind of don't want you to completely abuse it. But that's kind of how I like to play. Otherwise, there's a lot of the same old stuff from the other game. Like, you know, if I change my skills over to the mines, aim at these little things, you'll see them, you know, in various spots. There's one, there's one. That's where you can shoot a mine to, so shoot a mine, it'll attract. There's two guys coming in to investigate, then you hit L3 to take them both out. So, now. Then you can pair that up with this. See, three enemies taken down, and these guys didn't even know what happened. So... You know, play around with it, experiment. It's 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 really cool. You can play however you want again. If you just want to go in there and throw fists, you know, go for it. Do whatever you want to do. But that's kind of how I play. Um, I don't know what else to kind of go over. I mean, the game runs great. My thoughts on the game runs great, especially on PS5, 60 frames per second. If you're on uh, performance mode, if you're on quality mode, it's gonna, you know, increase the graphics but it's going to drop you to 30 frames per second. And honestly, if you have a PS5 and you're playing on 30 for, uh, frames per second mode, when you have an option for 60, I don't know what to tell you. Like, return that PS5 and go back to the PS4 or something. I don't know. But that's kind of just what I wanted to go over. I didn't have a lot of stuff. Um, wow, look at that building. Christmassy. Just in time for Christmas. But um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, post them in the comments. Uh, if you want to see anything specific, let me know. I'll make other videos. Um, you know, so check out all my other videos on YouTube as well. Um, again, I know you guys are trying to get PS5s. I know there's that whole thing out there right now. Maybe some of you aren't, but for those of you who are really trying hard and you're kind of getting frustrated with, obviously, the shortage, pandemic, you know, scalpers, bots, all that stuff. Um, you know, keep trying. Keep trying. I, I thought myself that I was never going to get a PS5 just because they would constantly run out of stock. But keep trying. I snagged one from Best Buy. Um, and then I snagged my Xbox from Target. So uh, I go over all that stuff in that video. So watch that video if you guys want. Um, otherwise, that's it for me. I just wanted to make a quick video showing you guys this game. If you guys plan on getting it, if you have any questions, again, let me know.